Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1186. Hey, if you want to download this workbook file and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we have a great video here. Here's a data set, date, revenue, product, and product description. And our goal is to add up all of the revenue for each color category. But look at the product description. Sometimes the information for summarization of our data, blue, red, comes after a comma. Sometimes it's in the middle of the description. Sometimes it's after a dash. Sometimes it's after a beginning. Now, this happened because this data set was consolidated from multiple systems. And the way they encode the color information was different in each system. Now, we could just create a wild formula here that actually takes into consideration each bit of logic. The color is after a comma. The color is in the middle. The color is after a dash. The color is at the beginning. But no way, we do not have to do that. There's an amazing solution from Barry Houdini at the Mr. Excel message board. And the first time I ever saw him do this solution, he won the Mr. Excel challenge in the year 2007 with this formula. Not only that, but our awesome Excel online teammate, Pumsco at YouTube, just did a video on this. Now, here's the deal. We're going to use the search function. And normally, the search, you give it some text like, hey, find blue, comma, within what? This right here. And it will tell you the position that it finds this subtext string within this larger text string. Well, hey, 12. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12. 12 is the position where blue starts. But watch this. In the find text, we're going to do a function argument array operation by giving it all of the colors. And I'm going to hit F4. Now, this argument is expecting a single value. We give it four. So search will always spit out four answers. F9, there it is. Error 12, error, error. Now, the beauty of this little bit right here is it does tell us the position, one, two, three, four. Well, we only have four colors, clear, lavender, blue, and red. And the blue is in the second position. We don't really care about the 12. We care about the position that the number is in. Now, we can use this in the lookup function. In fact, the original lookup function, lookup. I'm going to Control Z. Watch this. Lookup is one of the more amazing, magical function, because it does all sorts of things. It can do horizontal lookup. It can do vertical lookup. It can handle array operations. It has a lookup vector vector and a result vector. Now, the lookup vector is what this little piece is going to be. But we need a lookup value to find that 12 within those four items. We'll check this out. Since this is text in a cell, we're just going to give it the actual big number 2 caret 15 comma. Now, the concept here is if you give it some big number, because lookup only does approximate match, it'll just keep searching until it finds that number. Why 2 to the 15th? Because the most characters allowed in a cell is 2 to the 15th minus 1. So by giving it this big number, it will always find in the lookup vector f9 the right position. That's the function of lookup vector. You give it some lookup value, it'll find the position in the lookup vector Control Z, and then we come to the end comma and just give it our four colors. F4, close parentheses. That is amazing. Control mm -hmm. Enter, double click and send it down. And you got to be kidding me. Even down here, F2, it's got some big number right there. Look up vector F9, it's finding that one. One, two, three is the position. Control Z, and of course, Result vector 1, 2, 3 is lavender. lavender. So now we can make our pivot table. Click in a single cell, Alt-N-V, and I'm going to hit Enter to put it on a new sheet. Now I'm going to drag this pivot table field list. I'm going to drag color down to rows. I'm going to drag revenue down to values. I'm immediately going to go up to design. Report layout, show an outline or tabular, because we want to see the field names. Right click, number formatting, and I'm going to choose something like currency. 
You gotta be kidding me, that is amazing. Blue, clear, lavender, and red, there's our summarization. Looks like red is the most popular. Come down here, I'm gonna name this Color Revenue Report, enter. All right, that was fun with look up some big number search function to create a vector to determine the position and our result vector. All right, thanks to Barry Houdini and Pumsco at YouTube. We'll see you next video.